Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 13. Day number 13. Here is the problem on the blackboard. We are asked to find find the value of the expression x squared minus 7x plus 10 when x equals 0, 3, 5, 8 and 10. That's, that's our job. Our job is to find the value of these expressions at these five values of x. When x is 0, when x is 3, when x is 5, when x is 8, and when x is 10. Now we could simply just put in the values of x and be done with it, but I want to do it properly so that you understand and learn the language of the algebra, which is solving the problem itself is not the point here. We also want to learn how to understand algebra as the language as it is spoken by mathematicians. So here we're going to do it proper way. So here we go. Let's first, let's first christen the expression. Christen, I'm digressing here, christen means to name something, to give something a name. If you want to learn this word in detail properly, you can go to Keshwani prep dash vocab dash vocab dash 63 Keshwani prep dash vocab dash day 63 type in this tag and you can learn this word christen which means to give something or somebody a name the very first thing we need to do is christen give this expression a name this christen Let's first question the expression. Let's call it. What do you want to call it? It doesn't really matter. What do you want to call it? You can call it Y, you can call it Alpha, you can call it Beta, you can call it Gamma, you can call it Monkey, Hippo, Dinosaur, Michael, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it, uh, let's call this expression A. So, what we are asked to find is a of 0. This is how it's read. What we are asked to find is A of 0. We're talking about we're talking about the first guy here. And it's read, this thing is read as A of 0. And what does this what does this symbol mean? A, A, A of 0 means the value of the expression a value of the expression a when x is 0 that's what this means this part here means this a of 0 if somebody if someone says find the, find a of 0 what they're telling you is that they have an expression which they have given a name of a and they want you to find the value of this particular expression when x happens to be 0. So let's find it, a of 0. I need the room, so we can erase it. Our, our expression was, this is called a of x. This is how we write it, a of x. Our expression was, why a of x? Because it's expressed in x. And now we're going to replace it with 0. We find a of 0. a of 0. So x squared becomes 0 squared minus 7 times 0 plus 10. And of course 0 squared is 0. 7 times 0 is 0. So it's 10. a of 0 is 10. We are asked to find a of 3. So x squared becomes 3 squared. 7x becomes 7 times 3 plus 10. 3 squared is 9. 7 times 3 is 21, 
and 10. 10 plus 9 is 19, minus 21 looks like it's negative 2. Let me confirm it. Uh, I don't, yep, it is negative 2. We have two more to go. So we have done 0, we have done 3. 0 is done, 3 is done. We have to, we have to go 3 more. 5, 8, and 10. I need the room. So I'm going to erase the top part here. A of x was x squared minus 7x plus 10. We have done, we have done 0, we have done 3, let's do a of 5. a of 5. Again, a of 5, a of 5 would mean the value of the expression a when x equals 5. That's what we're finding here, a of 5. We're going to find it right here. So we replace x by 5. 5 squared minus 7 times 5 plus 10. That's what a of 5 means. It simply means go to the expression a, this expression that we have given a name of a, go to that particular expression, and wherever you see x, wherever we see x, replace it with 5, and find out what it equals to the expression. 5 squared is 25. 7 times 5 is 35, so it is 25 minus 35 plus 10, or 25 plus 10 is 35, minus 35 is a big fat 0. Turns out that a of 5 is a big fat 0. Let's keep on going. So we have done the 5, now we have to do 8 and 10. A of 8. So now we are doing A of 8, A of 8, the value of the expression A when x equals 8. And we are going to find that right here. So we replace x by 8, 8 squared, 7 times 8 plus 10. Let's put a demarcation here so we can keep it separate. And if you do not know what demarcation means, if you do not know what demarcation means, I hope I hope that you can read that low in the blackboard. Demarcation is the word that we learned long time ago in our vocabulary lessons on day number I know we learned it, day number 12. So again one more time, just tap in tag Keshwani Prab dash vocab dash day 12 and you will learn the word demarcation which means simply means to bound put a boundary on something to put a border around it, like we just did here we put a demarcation to keep it separate so 8 squared is 64 7 times 8 well that's a tricky one 7 times 8 I know 8 times 8 is 64 64 minus 7 64 minus 7 is that right? Four. This is 8 times 8. And I subtract 7 from it. No, I need to subtract 8 from it. So I get 7 eighths. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. If this is 8 times 8, then this, this must be 7 times 8. If 64, if 64 represents 8 8, then by taking away 1 8 from it, that answer must represent 7 8, which is just as well, because I just realized that 7 squared, 7 squared, which is 7 7, is 49. I know that by heart, 7 squared is 49. So if I were to add one more 7 to it, instead of 7 7, if you have 8 7, we would have to add one more 7 to it, that will make it 50, and then another 6, 56, right there. Plus 10. But whatever you do, Whatever you do, do not pick up the bloody calculator. Leave it alone. Give it a rest. You mustn't touch calculator at all when you're working with me on these problems. Never ever. Never ever. So let's see what this boils down to. So 74 minus 56. 74 minus 56. 14 minus 6 is 8. 6 minus 5 is 1. 18. So A of 8 equals... A of 8 
equals 18. That's the one last one, which is the A of So we replace x squared by 10, so it is 10 squared minus 7 times x which is 10 plus another 10 10 squared is 100 minus 70 plus 10 So 100 minus 70 is 30 30 plus 10 is 40. So A of 10 equals 40. That's it, we are done. We were asked to find the value of the expression when x equals 0, 3, 5, 8 and 10. And we have done so. We have done so. We, what, were we asked to, what were we asked to find? We were asked to find 5 things. And I'm going to put a box around those 5, thi five things that we were asked to find. We were asked to find A of, a of 0. We were asked to find a of 0, a of 0, this is how you read it, a of 0, which means we were asked to find the value of the expression a, we were asked to find the value of the expression a when x is 0. Now had we called this expression b, we would have been talking about b of 0. Had we called this expression alpha, we would have been talking about alpha of 0. It's just a name. It's just a name that we gave to the expression. So we found the a of 0, we were asked to find a of 3, a of 3 means we were asked to find the value of the expression a when x is 3. Then we found a of 5, a of 5, then we found a, a of 8 which means we found the value of the expression a when x is 8 and finally we found a of 10. Turns out a of 10 equals 40, a of 8 equals 18, a of 5 equals 0, a of 5 equals 0. Learn the lingo, it's very important. Uh, algebra, as I said, is a language, that's what we are here for. We are here to learn the language, language of algebra, that's what it is, it's a language, which is why a lot of kids get intimidated, lots of kids get turned off because uh, they are not uh, presented uh, algebra in this manner. There is always presented in some one black box with something that the geeks and the nerds do. It's not. It's a beautiful language. It teaches you how to think rationally, logically, systematically. Which is why algebra is the foundation of mathematics. And of course mathematics is the foundation of all the other sciences. It's a very vital discipline. We are done for today. And I am also done with my sermon. Amen. I will see you tomorrow on day number 14. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, for any reason at all, just go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can simply go to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow, day number 14.